Hey Reflections, it's going to be really hard to do this video, but I'm going to try. The reason why I haven't done the video in the past few days is because I got what I was waiting for, and oh, it's hard, you know, it, it's, it's hard going through this process, process of detachment, but I am embracing it and I am accepting it and surrendering it or surrendering to it because I realize this is for my highest potential. So today we're going to talk about destruction and the devil. The devil tarot to be exact and what the devil is. Now again this card has come up reversed a few times within readings of other people and myself and I've been getting signs through dreams and through synchronicity numbers and I didn't trust myself. I didn't trust myself because these abilities that I've been developing are new <laughs> and I didn't trust myself. You know, I've only had five or six dreams like this recently. And when you talk about these dreams to other people, they dismiss it and they tell you that this isn't real, so you begin to doubt yourself. Never doubt yourself. Never look to others for answers. And this is why I say, even the things that I say, take at face value. Don't believe everything I say. I encourage you to be your own guru, your own psychic, your own seer. Because when you go within, you know your truth. So this is the most important message that I can communicate to you guys because if it's happening to me, it's definitely happening to some of you. If not, it's already happened, okay? This is why I share my story and I'm sharing my dream because it does not just relate to myself and my own situation, but this relates to the collective, to all of humanity, to Gaia, to animals, to everything. And this is why it was, it's been really hard to make these videos because I get so emotional. You know, this, this dream was very emotional. So when I talk about myself, I'm talking of all of us, okay? If you think that I am separate from you, you do not understand the collective consciousness. You do not understand that we are all connected, okay? So if I'm going through this, it's probably happened to you, or it's happening to you, or it's going to happen to you. Because this is the nature of reality. We have to elevate our consciousness, and this is the only reason why we are here. So, this card came up, right? In the past few readings, the devil card. You know, Put it this way for you as well. Now, I actually had a dream about this card. And it was the most experience, it's the most intense experience in a dream that I've ever had. And recently, my dreams have been coming true. And I've been meeting entities in these dreams. I've been meeting extraterrestrials in these dreams and they've been coming true. <laughs> I've been having ego death after ego death after ego death pretty much every single day. In my waking life when I'm communicating truth to somebody dear to me, as I'm looking in their eyes, I will have an ego death and I will feel like I am in DMT space, like I'm on acid. And that's also why I've stopped using psychedelics for a while 
It's because these experiences are happening to me in my waking life and my dream life without the use of psychedelics. That's something that I'm getting used to. <laughs> And I am open and grateful that these things are happening because they're happening for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Now, in this dream, it felt very much like I was in DMT space, okay? I was having an ego death and the end of the world scenario at the same time. Now, this dream started off with me in an office building, okay? It seems like an office building in a metropolitan city, kind of like New York, Manhattan. And it seemed like an office building high rise where a lot of business gets done. Now, in this dream, I saw a clock. And it was a countdown. I didn't know what this countdown was, but I kept on experiencing. There were glass windows, and I could see that the sky was different. It wasn't like it usually is. It was this hazy, pinkish, purple, deep blue. And I had this sense of something's wrong, okay? It felt like I was in a DMT trip. It felt like I was in an acid trip, which was really odd and scary and terrifying. And if you notice your dreams, you notice that you can't really communicate with words because it's always telepathic. And in this dream, which was very, very different from any of my other dreams, every single time I would observe something, it would communicate telepathically to me, okay? So another thing that I experienced in this dream was pain. And that's another thing that I think is very interesting when you observe your dreams, is you can experience pain, whether it's emotional pain, fear, or real pain, okay? So there was a, it was a, the countdown, and it was a clock. And I knew something bad was going to happen because as soon as I looked at the clock, telepathically, this had communicated to me, whatever, you know, it was just very thought based, that it's time for the world to end. The world as we know it. That was terrifying. That put me into a very scary place. The next thing I know, is the whole entire left side of my brain was on fire. It felt like it was hurting and throbbing and I had some kind of tumor in there. And I knew that I was going to die. Okay, it was a countdown to our death. This really terrified me. I was running around the office building terrified having the loss of the identification to myself times 1000 because it felt as real as this you know it felt even more real than this actually and I look up in the sky and when I look up in the sky it's this pinkish purple blue haze and I know that there's something wrong because I've never seen the sky look like this before. And then something communicated to me, look up in the sky. And it was so terrifying. I didn't want to. I didn't want to because I could already feel who was there. I could already feel what it was. I made myself, you know, only after they were communicating to me, we have a message for you. We have a message for humanity. Please look up and see what it is. Please surrender to this and open your eyes because if you don't get this message, 
it will be really bad. You know, I, I don't really know what it was, but it was communicating telepathically that I had to look up in the sky. And it said, we are here to teach you. We are here to show you the way because humanity is at risk. And in order to save yourself, yourselves, all of you, you're going to have to change. And I knew right away because I was so terrified <laughs> that these were extraterrestrials. You know, they, they were not from this planet. Now, you can tell when somebody is a multidimensional being, which is very different, and you can tell when someone is an extraterrestrial. There are two different, you know, beings or entities that I saw in this dream, which terrified me. Now, when I looked up in the sky, I saw these orbs and these discs. And it was basically an end of the world scenario, which, which again was terrifying. It was terrifying because my brain on the left side was on fire. There was a countdown clock to the end of the world. There were extraterrestrials in the sky. The sky looked like there was something wrong with it and I was dying and we were all dying. As this happens, a man comes into the boardroom. I was in a boardroom, you know, where, you know, this, um, it was kind of like this uh, CEO boardroom, okay, where business takes place. And this man comes in and he comes in with a suit and a tie, very expensive. You could tell it was very expensive, very luxurious, like a five, 10,000 suit, something over the top, again, which represents this. I knew immediately that this entity that I had seen was a representation of this. This man comes in and I could immediately tell that just by looking again telepathically that the devil is not what you think it is, okay? The devil is the perversion of na nature and humanity and the earth. The devil is the rape and taking advantage of and the manipulation and the destruction of humanity for the sole purpose of money. Okay. The devil is within you and me. It is not exterior from us. Just like heaven and hell is a state of mind. And this is what the devil is. It is everything wrong with the world today. It is all the hatred that you have in your heart. It is all the separation. It is all the pain. It is everything. It is taking advantage of the earth of everything natural, of everything. And it is us. And we choose to think of it as exterior from us. And as I was looking at the devil, I saw the imprint of this tarot. And I saw this tarot with on all sides, six, 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 six. This made me realize that source energy is within all of us. And the lower levels of consciousness is in all of us. The devil, which we like to call it, is in all of us. When we act in rage, when we act in jealousy, when we act to hurt people, when we act to compare ourselves to others, when we act to judge ourselves and others, when we sell out 
when we do things just for the money, when we do things for excessive luxuries at the expense of others. <laughs> this is all us. This is all our doing. And we have to stop and change ourselves and elevate our consciousness to reverse this if we can. And then, as I saw the imprint of this tarot and was communicated all, you know, seeing, communicating, this tarot card was communicating all these uh, thoughts to me telepathically and said, this is the collective, this is for the collective, this is not just you. It disappeared and the devil in the suit, it looked like a very high power CEO doing anything for money, destroying the earth for money, destroying humanity, <laughs> women, children, men. <laughs> and it asked me to join. It said that it wanted me to be with him. It wanted me to sleep with him. And I screamed, no, no, and I woke up screaming, no, and crying. And I saw. I saw everything. That was a really powerful message. And this is why I feel it's necessary to talk about these things and necessary to communicate these dreams to you guys because it doesn't only relate to myself. It's beginning to relate to all of us. And these dreams that I have are terrifying, <laughs> but I'm open to it and I surrender to it because it's necessary in the times that we're living in. It's necessary for somebody to do this. But yeah. <laughs> That's why it's been really hard for me to, to make these videos because I'm so emotional these days. I'm so emotional because I feel... I feel everything. I feel all the sadness. I feel all the destruction. I feel all the pain. Unnecessarily. So yeah. <laughs> That's that that was a really, really intense dream. And again, I ask you to go within because I am not getting these dreams and contact with entities and extraterrestrials by going outside of myself, you know? I take the time to focus and to go within and to meditate and to do all these things because I know it's necessary for the development of my own consciousness and it's also necessary for you as well, you know? Anyway, reflections, I'm just going to wrap it up at that. I hope you're having an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Hey, Reflections. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos.